Is anyone blogging yet? Blogging will help not only increase your traffic, blogging is going to help um, define you as an expert in your industry. But who do consumers trust? You, everyone here is a consumer. Who do you trust? Your friends. Exactly. Who else you trust? <laughs> maybe some of your family, maybe, you know. Um, That's it. Exactly. And your I friends? I've known them since I was three. <laughs> okay. Your friends or your family. That's like the top on the list. Next in line is your online product reviews. That means that basically if someone goes into Google and type in a certain keyword and you pop up and they want to know what other people are saying about your products. If no one's saying anything about your products or you don't have any testimonials, people they're not going to trust you. So they're not going to buy from you. 23% of social network users expect companies to listen and respond. I'm trying to understand what you just said. You just said that anybody that responds Facebook page or your blog or your social network interaction is expecting a response back. Exactly. If they purchase something from you. No, it's not even purchase. Not even purchase. I had a gentleman who dialogue. went hmm? dialogue. dialogue. Exactly. But definitely if it's purchase because that's customer. But if you are if you're promoting your business, you, you have to respond back. I'm not saying respond back immediately within a, in a couple of minutes because they understand that you're in business as well. But as long as you, you respond back in a timely manner, I, I guess you shaking your head like, oh, I can't. I was telling someone the other day, the mm -hmm. older you get, you keep saying, yes, I can do this, yes, I can do that, yes, I can do that. And by the time you say yes so many times, your plate is so full yes. that you realize that you're not doing anything well. Mm -hmm. Because you're trying to do too many things. Exactly. Every time someone presents you with something, it sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. And many of the ideas are good ideas, but only if you have the time to really carry them out and understand what you're doing. Exactly. And that's the key, understanding, understanding what you're doing. And a tool that might help me, might help you, is not going to be the best tools for you and for you and anyone else in the, in the room. So what I do in Corporate Cosmo, the first thing I do is we put together a strategy plan, a game plan. Because I want to make sure that, you know, whatever strategies that we come up with with my client is going to be effective and it's going to have some results. So it's, we talk more about brand development, who you are as a person, who you're looking for, who is your target audience, the, the ideal audience. You know, do they use video? Do they read blogs? Do they listen to podcasts? Are they males? Are they females? Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, everyone is getting started on Facebook, and the first thing you're probably racking your brain is, I don't have enough friends. Or I don't know anybody. Exactly. I don't have any friends. I don't have nobody clicking on the like page. I have nobody commenting. And, and some people get discouraged, and when they get discouraged, it was like, you know what? I, the social media thing is not for me. And you know what I tell everyone when they get discouraged? Whatever you're doing, as long as you are delivering and you are creating valuable content of quality, it will come. It doesn't happen overnight. Now, there are some tools out there that can help boost up your following. But, you know, some are paid, some are not. But at the same time, you want to be pre presented as transparent and authentic. So you want people to know that you naturally, organically brought people to, my, to their site because of what I'm, the message I'm delivering.